Party down there. Jerry, Kelly, Cindy, strong liberty minded women, all of them involved. Kelly, Ari, are a contributor. That makes you a little bit special, you know. She's, <laughs> she she's special. actually team. We're working on getting Cindy as Ari, Ari contributor. <laughs> And of course, Jerry, one of the founders of the Clear Lake Tea Party. You had to be kind of proud, Jerry, seeing your team members up there sitting around the table with Governor Abbott yesterday, right? That was awesome. That was pretty awesome. I did like that. I'm, I'm glad we have a seat at the table for... Our, for literally a seat at the table. Literally a seat at the table. I'm very proud of that. My cousin called me the other day and she said, I'm not seeing much of what the Tea Party's doing. I said, let me tell you what the Tea Party's doing. We're getting elected. We're writing laws. We're making change. This is what we're doing. Yeah, and you see, you see who organized that meeting. It was Tea Party State Senator Bob Hall that pulled that, pulled that together, right? That's great. Yeah. That's great. I was in Austin last Tuesday lobbying with BAYHAP, which is Bay Area Economic Partnership for Transportation. Do you ever stop doing anything? Do you ever stop? Do you ever? Do you ever stop doing anything? Do you ever stop? <laughs> when I die. <laughs> I want to die that way, really. Just, you know, out, you're gone. Um, we were, we were lo lobbying for money to bring back some money for our roads and things. We have seven roads in League City that... Nah, say it ain't so. You're going to get the bacon. I am. That's what I want. <laughs> Someone's got to pay for those potholes. Yeah, I, 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 I know all of y'all are hating me, man, because I'm like with these three gorgeous women and I'm digging it, right? They're liberty-minded, they're gorgeous, we're in Houston, don't you wish you were me? All right, so now, what, the, the bait, what did you think? Yes, I thought it was good. Um, you're, not, I, you're not necessarily a Jared fan. I, I, I am not a Jared fan. You're and like a Meckler. And I don't think that I've made that a secret. Um, I'm not really a Meckler fan, no. Well, you got to hold your nose and, and support somebody. somebody. You can't vote, but you got to... Right. Uh, I'm not a Meckler fan because of the the, uh, the thing that happened on the platform committee. And I know that he addressed it. I know he said he wasn't an author of the Texas Solution, but I'm not sure that I completely... He wasn't an author, but he was he was twisting the wrenches. He was behind the, the scenes, yes. Um, I, I don't know about Robin Armstrong. I've heard not so great things about him. I, I, I didn't really feel a lot of passion from him whenever he was up on the stage. I didn't really feel like he made a connection um, with me personally while he was up there um, doing the debate. So. Does anybody have an idea why he jumped in at the last minute like that? I mean, because even Kathy Adams, who he was the vice chair or two, uh, had no idea why he was even jumping in. I mean, he's SREC, uh, I'm sorry, uh, RNC committee man. And I think he's always wanted to do that. I really do. I think, think? He's, he, I think he's wanted to move up in the party. He's a party guy. He is. Yeah. And I think he's wanted to move up. And this is, it was, this was an opportunity. Sometimes you just have to take the opportunity. All right. Now, so we're so Sotex, right? And Wade Emmert is no tex, right? I mean, he's Dallas County. We're not very impressed with the politics locally and countywide in Dallas County. I mean, they definitely got better state reps and senators up there. I mean, I don't know what our problem is down here. All these wishy-washy rhino. Mm. It, it's, it's sad. It really, it really is. is. I mean, for all for all the grief I give DFW for you know for being weak and every you know for being soft, they got the stronger conservatives. Yeah. Of anything that's moving forward up there is it's, it's coming out of the Metroplex. I'm embarrassed yeah. for H Town. I really am. You expect it out of Travis County. You expect it out of Bear County. But Harris County? I mean, it's ridiculous. What do you think, Cindy? Um, it's just frustrating to see a lot of these so-called Republicans that are running on these tickets and that they, they just cower down to more moderate or even the Democrat solutions of anything. It, that, we're talking public uh, uh, city council, ISDs, and they're <laughs> standing in line ready to tax more and more government and more regulations and more laws. And it is just frustrating here. Okay, so the question I've been asking those that I've been talking to tonight, we're here at an RPT chairman's debate, right, put on by Clear Lake Area Republicans. So the question I'm asking is, is the is the party chairman, is it even a relevant office anymore? Is it even relevant to our governance? I mean, it appears that after you get thousands of delegates together on their own dime to go and del del deliberate and put together what should be a very reverenced document, the party platform, we can't get it enacted because the guys in the pink dome don't care, right? So is the party chairman office even relevant anymore? Can the party chairman do anything about governance in the direction of our society? to make it relevant. That's what they've not done in the past. They haven't done that. We took we took the party platform one time to the Capitol when the, the new representatives got elected and said, have you read this? Have you seen it? 
Well, no, but you ran on it. How can you not see it? Here's a copy of it. This is what they need to do. And I think one of them mentioned that, that they need to do that. It's something we need to hold their feet to the fire as well as any other elected official. <laughs> Cindy, is the office even relevant? I, I mean, you guys go up there, I mean, all of you guys go to the convention every right. two years. It is not a cheap proposition. No, it is a, no. an expensive no. ordeal to go up there. You're not getting paid, you know, to, 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 you know, to blow up a week and a half in some instances if you're on the platform right. committee or the committee's rules committee or whatever, to go up there and then these guys just throw it aside and put it in the shredder. I think it is relevant. If we were ever to believe it isn't relevant, I think then that would prove that the grassroots is not relevant too. So I think it's a very important position to be relevant. It can't that position could squash the grassroots. So yeah, the grassroots, we're watching it. We're watching it because if there's someone in there that's not friendly to the grassroots, and I don't care what movement you're in, they they could squash us very much. And there could be a literal divide within the party with the grassroots and the not so grass and the establishment. There's already that division. There's already that division, but if we got somebody up there and we've seen it when Tina Binkheiser was uh, running the party and everything, she ran it into the ground and the grassroots was squashed and uh, they lost a lot of good candidates then and a lot of good people I think got so discouraged. That's when I first started getting involved. I remember the Tina Binkheiser times. We got, and that's what scares me, if we got someone like that, when our grassroots is just building momentum, I mean Harris County, we're always struggling with our grassroots too. So if we've got someone that's going to squash it, 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 it could be detrimental I think for us. And so it is very, I think it is a very important position. Okay, Jerry, I do have a question for you because you are a founding member of Clear, Clear Lake Tea Party. You're still on the board, aren't you? Yeah, still on the board. Okay, okay so what, what I think I'm seeing okay, is that what we have always considered in some instances the non-Republican Tea Party people, let's say. But what we saw leading up to the speaker's vote was we saw executive committees from all over the state passing resolutions in favor of Scott Turner, or at the very minimum, saying that they didn't want, essentially, Joe Strauss to be speaker. These aren't necessarily all Tea Party people. And all the people that are going to the convention aren't necessarily Tea Party people. And what I'm discovering is that, at least here in Texas, the difference between issues, goals, ideology, between quote unquote proper Tea Party enthusiasts and, and supporters and liberty movement people versus what you would call basic rank and file GOP, there isn't that much difference. And it appears that it's the establishment GOP, the Strausses, the guys on the left, the, the Dick Weeklies or whatever, that are really opposing all of us, whether they're grassroots rank and file, whether they're Tea Party, whether they're liberty movement, it's those guys against the people that were in this room tonight. Right. Right. And we're here listening to see how, which direction the party is going to go. And they're saying, well, who's written the biggest check? And that's going to happen again. If, when they need the money, those are the people they're going to go to. And guess what? They get what they want. They're going to end up getting what they want anyway, the, the people who write those checks. Kelly? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, stop. All right. <laughs> I know, all right? You, go, you can only take so much beauty, you got to shut it down. <laughs> all right. Cindy, Kelly, Jerry. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And, uh, uh, and Kelly, you can catch her on most Wednesdays, although she wasn't on this Wednesday, today. She wasn't on this Wednesday. Kelly comes on Wednesdays. You don't want to miss her. And she writes for RagingElephantsRadio.com, so you want to see her stuff. An excellent, excellent writer. Great cogent, I mean, just great thought. So we're yes. glad to have you on the team. Thank you so much. All right. All right, Pedro.